really tough to go over with this. Minions, the rise of Gru, is probably going to make a lot of money. Despite what you're flopping. Now, what I find really funny about this is because the light year flopped, a lot of these media outlets are like, well, minions could flop too. And they're very different situations. Despicable Me, the Lost Franchise, Minions, the Rise of Gru, the plot works. I, I know what this movie is about just from the title. The title alone tells me the plot of this movie. Right here, not so much. It has, it, well, it has no connection to anything that came before it. And a little bit of controversy surrounding that movie as well. I've uh, mentioned this before in videos. The plot really didn't come through from the trailers very well. And most of the coverage of the movie revolved around the fact that two women were in a relationship. And that's really not a reason for me to want to go see this movie. There's plenty of options to see stuff like that. And it's not really what the focus of the movie should have been on. And to be fair, that's not a major plot point for the movie, from what I understand. I haven't seen the movie, but from what I understand from people that have, that, that relationship is barely in the movie. It's like five seconds long. Really wouldn't have been that big of a deal if Disney and critics that come to defend them would have made it such a big deal. But most of the public most of the publications talking about Lightyear revolved around that shit. And I do think it turns people off. This is why Magic flies high. Jurassic Park Dominion does good. Because people are tired of this shit. They, they really are sick of it. And Minions, Rise of Gru, doing very well, very well in the theaters right now. And the reason that I think that's hilarious is because this could have been light years. This could have been like this. It easily could have been like this. I mean, it's like a Toy Story property. But no, you decided to have the movie revolve around a bunch of bullshit and you did it to yourself with that flop. You did it to yourself. Families like to go do things. When you have a family friendly movie like Rise of Drew, people will go see it. And the numbers speak for themselves. It's going to make $116 million. And based off of this Thursday's preview numbers, it's already making money. This is just from Thursday. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but for a kid's movie, this is quite a bit of money. So the market is there for these types of films. Now, what I find really funny and hilarious is the fact that outlets are trying to hurt this film now. This is Rocks, Rocks.com, one of the true trash websites on the internet. Later, exploitation explained by minions. We can understand the entire history of the capitalist labor market through the despicable me franchise. <laughs> it begins. Get out of mad because of the fact that there's merchandise for the rise of the Something that's been going on for a long time with movies. Not really that big of a deal. But of course, you have stuff what's so great and care about, about the Minions. So, Minions is now a capitalist a movie. So, that's probably not going to be very damaging, right? But what about when you take a look at what reviews are doing? So, this is The Guardian. Minions, the rise of Gru, review, feeble origin story, hopefully lays franchise to rest. So hopefully this kills the Minions franchise, according to Kid Bradshaw from the Guardian. Two out of five stars. Two out of five stars. Now, I wonder what the Guardian says right here. Let's take a look. From the same guy. Four out of five stars. <laughs> right here is you. Toy Story spin off. Boldly going beyond with a treat from Pixar. 
big shocking origin story for Toy Story Space Man here was fun and clever and reminds us why we love Pixar in the first place. I wonder. I wonder what's going on with that. Look at that. Oh. Not as much. Not as much. I, I, wonder, I wonder why it's getting four out of five stars. Oh. Could it be the LBGTQ plus representation? Looks like it is. A plot point, a plot thing that was, it, it was a five second thing. Literally, a blink and you miss a kiss is the reason to give this movie four out of five stars. This is what boosts your movies now. This is like you are a trust critic, number one. So the beer minions, oh, it's garbage movie. Awful. Awful. Maybe if it just had Drew kissing a minion, specifically a male minion, uh, it would have got four out of five. This just happens all the time. I love that it's the same guy that reviews these two movies too. Right here is good. Awful movie. Tim Howard even knows this. Tim Howard talked about it. There's a video on this. The movie would have been a lot better off if Tim Howard had been a part of it, but they decided they didn't want to do that. He came out and the movie didn't make, it, didn't make any sense because it wasn't connected. Toy Story, and why would you do that? So he was originally going to be involved. Actually, he had nice things to say about it, but, you know, why wasn't he a part of it? Why didn't he have a connection so much to Toy Story? You could have literally did that. Because from what I understand, okay, and I think he, he did say this in his interview, Lightyear is not is not to show the toy from Toy Story is based on it, but it's its own thing, like a multi-verse like Buzz Lightyear. Because the real Toy Story toy is based on Lightyear's Star Command or something. It's confusing to even talk about it. So, these are some of the reasons why the movie failed as well. But, I still think, not the two reasons why you failed, Tim Allen not being involved, big two stupid mistakes. Second, all of the buzz and articles and talk around the movie was about the fact that two women are in a relationship. And it's just not really something that's going to drag people into the theater. It works well for reviews and headlines, but it doesn't seem to do very well when you try to get ass and seats. And then you just have a standard fun movie that's not trying to lecture you, like The Rise of Drew, and it pulls in money, but these reviewers, they don't like that, so they want to go ahead and try to destroy the movie. That's why The Guardian is so salty. This review came out uh, the 22nd of June. Plenty of time to try to smear the movie. It did not work. It was making money. It was going to be very successful, making more money in light you did in North America in one weekend. <laughs> so, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on all of this? I'd like to hear from you. Uh, come over to my locals and let me know. Great place to come hang out, trying to build a community over there. There's a link in the description. It's free. Also, if you want to support, you don't give YouTube any money. I know for a lot of people, that's a big deal. I just want us to get around that. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there. And come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there, but I don't do on this channel. It's usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.